Good morning, Britain. The news you're waking up to, don't hijack our grief. Grenfell Tower victims condemned today's rage protests against the government, organised by... Out of the Queen's speech in which Theresa May is expected to ditch a host of controversial manifesto pledges. Panic in Brussels as a suspect is shot at the city's central station after a failed bombing. Belgian authorities are calling it a terrorist attack. And Britain's heat wave enters its fifth and record-breaking day, making it the longest run of scorching weather in this country since 1995. Wednesday, 21st of June, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Good morning, Britain. 6.01. Good morning. One well, of those rare days where not much has happened so far. No, it's huh? been a bit grim, hasn't it, for the past couple of weeks. Well, let's try and lighten the load today. We've got an amazing thing today. We have a robot, a female <laughs> robot. That's that not me, gonna... by the way. <laughs> yeah, it works like this. I love Piers. Uh, but Finally, the... Piers will be able to get at someone, a woman in the studio, well, basically a woman to give you... him unadulterated <laughs> yeah. attention You basically pre-program this female robot who looks and sounds and, I mean, for all intents and purposes, is a genuine woman, right? Mm. And she says whatever you want her to oh, say. Oh, for the fact that she's not, she's not a genuine, genuine look, look, look. Wow. Why would I know about Emily Dickinson if I was born today? Actually, that doesn't I look as good as it does in real life. In real life, it's freakily it's real. It's absolutely extraordinary. Anyway, anyway we will be interviewing the robot yeah. uh, later on in the programme. It is quite amazing. It's going to revolutionise relationships. Yeah. Of all kinds. This might be what you want. I get a nice male one, 6'2", tattooed, ex-military, your dream man, who just says, what can I do for you today, Susanna? It would be lovely if a man would say that. <laughs> Not on this programme, Piers. Um, it is going to be the hottest, I think, day for, I don't know, hundreds of years, Laura. So she's gone to Stonehenge. So we've sent our pregnant weather uh, meteorologist, of course, Good down morning. to a bunch of stones. <laughs> well, with regards to temperatures today, it could be the warmest June day for nearly 40 years. But here at Stonehenge this morning, where I witnessed the summer solstice, the sunrise on the longest day of the year, it was beautiful. And actually here, it looks as though it could well be the warmest summer solstice ever recorded. Temperatures are already climbing here. It is a stunning start to the day. Uh, I've got some really funny videos on Twitter if you want to have a look. They're on our Good Morning Britain Twitter. At the moment that the sun rose, some people were meditating, other people chanting, other people cheering. Uh, I just kind of took it in and filmed, which is what usual media do. Uh, but yeah, a beautiful start to the day here. But thunderstorms are going to be rife as the humidity builds. We'll have more on that in half an hour. Right. All right, Laura, we'll be back with mm -hmm. you shortly. So our main news at three minutes past six. There are fears amongst those affected by the Grenfell fire tragedy that their grief could be hijacked and used for political purposes today as protests organised in their name are planned across London. Well, the so-called Day of Rage march on Westminster also threatens to overshadow the Queen's speech, which is due to be delivered without a finalised agreement between the government and Northern Ireland's DUP. Our correspondent Jonathan Swain is at the memory wall near Grenfell Tower. Our political editor Ranveer Singh